We try to build products for ourselves here, and that's when we do the best work. The original idea for these bars and these crampons was to have an alternative for felt. And I kind of got on to the aluminum part because of these uh, items that are called a bashi that we used to make with Chenard equipment. We, we used very, very soft aluminum, and uh, soft aluminum is really grippy. The first prototype was some aluminum bars that I put on uh, a felt sole, actually. Screwed them in, and I used them for a year up in British Columbia steelhead fishing, and uh, wore them out, and finally they broke and everything, and so I improved them, and, and then I worked on a crampon so that you could put it on or off. If I was gonna go on a trip where there's some difficult waiting and some long walking, like New Zealand, where you walk for hours at a time and then finally get to wade in a slippery river, I'd take the crampons. I'd just take them off when I'm walking and then uh, put them on when I get through a river. If I was in the West in Wyoming, Montana or something, I would probably use the barred boots. They're a little bit lighter than the crampons. I, yeah, I'd just leave them on and use them all the time. In the end, by trying to make a product that was maybe environmentally a little bit better, we ended up making a product that's better all the way around. I would never go back to felt soles again. These things are so effective that I literally can run across the Madison River, which is one of the snottiest, slimiest, most dangerous rivers around, and they just grab like you can't believe. It's changed my life. I mean, it's, I feel so secure with these things on. Huh?